In the Local History Prize, you're required to use two sources of information and in a section on the entry form called References, you're required to write down the names of these references. I'm going to talk a little bit about that in this presentation. When you're researching a topic, you might use a variety of different sources of information, go to a variety of different places to find information on your topic. For the Local History Prize, you're required to use two different places of information. So a place of information or a source of information, they kind of mean the same thing. It could be a book, it could be a newspaper article, it could be interviewing your grandma, it can be looking on the web, or some other source of information. So why is it important to have a section called References in the Local History Prize? It's so that we can acknowledge the work of the person whose book, newspaper article or web page we used to conduct our research. The second reason it's good to write down references to the sources of information you used in your research is because someone might read your entry in the Local History Prize and go, wow, this is really interesting. I'd like to find out more about that. Well, they can have a look at the references that you include to the books or articles that you used in your research and the information that you provide can help them to track down the book or newspaper article or website themselves and read the same sources of information that you'd used originally. The last reason why it's good to provide references to the places that you found information for your historical topic is so that we can understand that they were good, accurate sources of information on the topic. Say, we might understand that they're written by an expert on the topic or that they come out of the encyclopedia where everything is very accurate or they come from a good website. So some of the sources of information that you can use for your local history prize entry include maps, books, newspaper articles, websites, or even just going around interviewing somebody who remembers how things were in the past or how things were done in the past. If you need a little bit of extra help, you can contact someone at your local branch of the library or in the local studies library at the Wollongong branch of the library. So what do we have to record if we've used a book as one of the references for our local history prize entry? Here I've got an example of a book about Wollongong Harbour called The Port of Wollongong by G. W. Gardner Garden. So the information that you need to record is basically the same for any book that you might use. So it includes the author of the book, the title of the book, where did they publish the book, who published it, and when was it published? So if we look at this Port of Wollongong book, we can see on the front cover that C.W. Gardner Garden is the person that wrote the book. The title of the book is called The Port of Wollongong. And when we open the cover, we can see that it was published in Wollongong by the Illawarra Historical Society in 1975. Just write down as much information as you can find in the book. The whole idea is 
then someone else could read your reference and track down the book themselves if they wanted to read it. What do we need to record if we've used a website as part of our research? There are three things that we need to record and here's an example. We need to record the name of the website. In this case, it's called Illawarra Coal. We need to record the web address or URL of the website and that's written up in the top in the address bar on your computer. And then we need to record the date that we looked at the website. That's because websites can change over time. So if someone comes and looks at it a year later, they go, well, that information's not there anymore. Then they look at the date that you looked at it and they can see why. Another place where you might find information for your entry is in a newspaper. These newspapers can be online now or they could be in the printed form. I'm going to tell you what to do if it's a printed newspaper. Well, the first thing you need to find is the name of the person who wrote the article. They sometimes call the author or for a newspaper it might be the journalist. Then you've got to find the title of the article. So that's often written in bigger print, or in this case here, we've got it written in different colour as well. Where's Piney? The name of the newspaper. The name of the newspaper is written on the front page and on the rest of the pages of the paper at the bottom. In this case, it's the Illawarra Mercury. The date that the issue of the newspaper was published that contains your article. That'll be on the front page of the paper up the top or on the bottom of all the other pages and the page that the article appeared on. So the whole idea is that if someone reads your entry and they go, wow, that was really great, they could go back and find the newspaper article that you looked at and read it themselves. Well, that brings to an end my little presentation on how to complete the references section of your local history prize entry form. If you're still having trouble, you can always ask your teacher. And if you need any help with researching your special place for the local history prize competition, come in and visit us at the Wollongong City Library and any branch or give us a call and the staff from the local study section who work at Wollongong Branch will be happy to help you. Bye.